Hello, Crypto Fam, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over Pepe I. We made a lot of videos on it before. We dollar cost averaged into it the past couple of months just because we noticed it kept going down. And I am so glad of the results. Let's break it down. Let's do a market watch on this bad boy. Here is the chart. Look, we do know that for the past month, it is roughly down about 9%, right? We can see that when we grab the bigger chart of it, but that's the benefit to dollar cost averaging, right? In the month, we are down roughly 9% for the month. We are up 5% today though. And what we saw literally the past, what, three, four days, we've been up about 70, 75%. You guys, only in the meme world and only with beautiful tokens like this. Right now we're sitting at a $57 million market cap with liquidity sitting roughly at $2.6 million. That's not bad. That is not bad. That's a good amount of locked liquidity. And we are still seeing good volume consistently moving on it. It's low trading volume was about 5 million. And I do believe with the way it's currently set up, we are poised to have a Binance listing. And what I did in this strategy is since I was dollar cost averaging in, I pulled out half of my profit now, which now allows me to ride the rest, right? If we get a Binance listing, the rest is free money. It's literally free money. If we don't get a Binance listing, it doesn't matter. I pulled out my profit and now I can just sustain till the next one in this specific meme coin. That's how you have to think about it when you're trading meme tokens. I think of each meme token as like a separate business, separate entity I'm focused on and I'm trying to get the fund to grow it. And if this one grows, then we pull out our profit from it and then the rest as Robert Kiyosaki would call it free money. And any of you guys can do that too. Here's a couple of things that we do know. Pepe blockchain has been launched. Now it launches in 28 days and it already has $30 million raised for it. And it is technically gonna be a tier one exchange listings. This would maybe give this a major freaking boost. A couple of things we also know. There's a community and holder metrics. So there's green Pepe holders and they're gradually shifting to the red one. So Pepe I has the potential to grab, like, because we just saw Pepe run up to $1.5 billion. These are the tokens that keep following. That's why we're up 75% in a couple of days. I think if the bull market continues like this, which it seems very eminent, we're probably looking at another 200 to 300% gain on this, which is an easy 2, 3x for you. Just again, do not use your whole portfolio. You need to be smart. Follow the 10 commandments of Crypto Moses and protect your damn money. Okay. And what else do we also know? We also know that they're supposed to be having a game upcoming. I don't know when, when I was researching it, but they're supposed to be having a game that's upcoming. Sometimes games do well enough where they reshape the trajectory of the tokens. But right now, let's just be smart with the gains and say that we're going to be modest and patient and a long-term potential for this game could also give it a big push up. Look, keep watching the chart. Keep having it on your radar. If we go down to the 15er, and we just look at the past couple of days, we see beautiful gains, right? And even if we just look from yesterday, we did have a drop. And, and don't forget, you guys, you can short things like this on BTCC. I'll leave my link below. On our trading account for the month, we're up $5,000 on the BTCC account. And we've only used $1,000 per margin on trade. So I love it. And we've had some great shorts on meme coins. I like to buy them on the decentralized exchanges hoping for the gains, and then I'll short them sometimes on the centralized exchanges that let me do that on leverage. So my buying is a lot more, but it's less likely to lose as much. And then my leverage is way less likely to lose as much because the risk I'm taking is just a small negative movement, which is bound to happen. And if it does, no big deal. I am still protected on the other end. It's kind of like hedging the bet. And I know many of you guys can do that too. Look, just stay subscribed. We'll bring more news like this. We'll find way more, way more tokens. And as this bull run happens, I don't want you guys to miss out. Please, please do not miss out on this opportunity. I missed out in 2017 and 2019, and I promised myself I'll never do it again. 2021 was fire. I could have done more. Now that we're here in 2024, we're going to do a lot more. So let's kill it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.